Hello, my name is Fabio Terezinho and I'll be conducting the Factory Talk Import Wizard tutorial for Indusoft Web Studio. The agenda has two topics. First, a very quick overview about the Import Wizard, its main benefits and functionalities. And then I'll demonstrate how to convert a real application from Factory Talk into Indusoft Web Studio and run this application in Indusoft Web Studio. So, getting started with the overview. Indusoft Web Studio has different import wizards to convert, convert applications from other HMI packages to Indusoft Web Studio. And the Factory Talk uh, import wizard from Indusoft Web Studio allows you to convert applications from Factory Talk ME, Machine Edition, as well as Factory Talk SE, Site Edition, automatically to Indusoft Web Studio. We designed this tool with, uh, based on Factory Talk version 8.10, uh, but most likely it will work with different versions of Factory Talk as well. The tool is built in in the Softweb Studio when you install the product uh, version 8.0 plus Service Pack 1 or newer. The import wizard is automatically installed along with the product, but in order to enable this tool, you need to purchase the import wizard for Factory Talk add-on for Indusoft Web Studio to enable this functionality in your Indusoft Web Studio development license. So you don't have to install an additional module to use the import wizard, uh, but you need to enable this functionality in your development license. And once it's enabled, you can use the same development environment with the same license to convert as many projects as you want from Factory Talk to Indusoft Web Studio and deploy, download those applications to different runtime stations. Obviously, the main goal of this import wizard is to save you time, to minimize the time when you are converting applications from Factory Talk to a different platform, which is the Indusoft Web Studio Complete HMI SCADA package. Uh, and it converts graphical interfaces, displays and objects, animations from the graphical interfaces, commands, expressions, alarms, communication interface, just like any other conversion tool, uh, it does not cover 100% of the original applications. There are limitations that are covered in a specific manual, uh, which is very specific, very detailed. But from a high level point of view, we have benchmarked this tool with real world applications from customers. Uh, and we were able to save uh, roughly 85% to 95% of the time that would take us to convert the whole application manually. So even though the conversion does not cover absolutely everything that you had in the original configuration, it absolutely saves you a very substantial time that would take to convert the whole application manually. And even after running the import wizard, uh, the converted application is a regular application for Indusoft Web Studio. So you can use the IDE, the, the regular tools in Indusoft, to make a, a additional state uh, adjustments and even to leverage functionalities, features that you have in the Web Studio and you didn't have in the original package. Like for instance, the Studio Mobile Access, the SMA Thin Clients, which allows you to visualize the applications on any remote web browser based on HTML5, uh, including devices like iPhones, iPads, Android tablets, and smartphones. So with that, we'll get started with the actual demonstration. So I have Factory Talk Studio here. And for this demo, we're going to use this application, Objects 5 Screen Demo, uh, which was installed automatically with Factory Talk. So if I go to displays, you can see uh, some interfaces, some displays, some screens from this application. And the goal is to convert this application to Indusoft Web Studio. The actual conversion happens in two steps. First, I export configuration information from Factory Talk. And then in the second step, I import the, those settings, this configuration, into Indusoft Web Studio. Uh, and use the tool to actually create the application in the software studio, create the screens, alarms, tags, communication interface with those settings. So we have to export uh, mostly three interfaces, tags, displays or screens, and alarms. So in order to export tags, I can go to Tools, Tag Import and Export Wizard, 
select next, select the folder of the project I want to export, in this case this application here, and there is this file with the extension MED, which has all the tags. Hit next, and define where I want to export the tags to. Uh, I recommend creating a folder to ex for the exported files. For example, here in the export in the desktop, I created the folder uh, FT export, and I can create a new folder called tags. And here I can save the exported file with the name tags.csv. Could be any name on any folder. Done. Now, if I want to export the displays, I can right-click here in displays, import and export. Hit next, select all the screens, all the displays you want to export, hit next, and here I can set the folder where I want to export, to, to save the exported screens. So again, I'll go to the desktop, under FT export, I'll create a new folder for displays, and hit finish. So it's going to export all the screens would take a few seconds depending on how many screens you have and by the end it gives you a report showing that all the screens were successfully exported and it even creates this additional file here the batch import file which is not a screen per se it's just a, a file with the list of screens that have been exported very well finally for alarms I can right click here on the alarm setup go to import export next Again, select the uh, path where I want to export the, the information. So again, I go to the desk desktop, factory talk export, create a folder for alarms, and say finish. When it's done, it pretty much shows me the report that everything was exported, and I'm done. So I exported the tags, the displays, and the alarms to those external files. And now I start phase two, which is to import this information into Indusoft Web Studio. So this is the development environment of Indusoft Web Studio version 8.0 Service Pack 1. I can create a brand new project here. So I call it Factory Talk Tutorial. Select my license level. Select the resolution. 640 by 480 for example and here I have a brand new project without screens with no tags zero tags here so I can import the the settings from the factory talk files can come here to import wizard select the import wizard for factory talk hit next and here I can browse the exported tags file so I can go to FT export, tags, select the tags.csv file. Here in screens, I can browse the exported displays. So I go to FT export, displays, and I'll select them all except the batch import, which is not an actual screen. It's just a list of exported screens. And finally, go to alarms and go to the alarms folder and select the alarm interface. Uh, the last setting here is to select the actual folder where factory talk where the factory talk application is so we can import the pictures, the bitmaps, JPEGs, PNGs used in the application. So in this particular case is under C users public public documents RS view enterprise ME HMI projects and I have my object 5 screen demo so good enough that's the folder for the application once I have selected all those options I can hit next and in the software studio we start importing information from those files and on the very next step it will show you the list of tags that will be uh, created in the software studio when you hit finish, the import wizard automatically creates the screens or in the software studio, creates the tags, creates the alarm interfaces, 
And if you had communication interface as well, you could configure communication. In this particular example, I'm not using any uh, communication in the original application. Very well, it is done. Now in the Softweb Studio, I see all the tags imported from the application. If I go to screens, I have all the screens imported for the application. Uh, and if I make changes on the original application from Factory Talk and I want to import again, or even if I want to import a different type of settings from the application, I could run the import wizard again and chose the option to duplicate uh, files or, or tags with the same name or do not duplicate them. And for the communication interface you have here in drivers, uh, I didn't enable that when I imported this application because I didn't have any communication interface in the original application. But if you do, you can enable the option to import drivers, select here configuration, and create a list of all the device aliases used in the original application, like my PLC5 for example. Select the driver for the protocol that we should use to communicate with that device. ABCIP implements Ethernet IPCIP protocol for control logics, for example. ABENI communicates through the ENI gateway. ABKE implements DF1 over TCP uh, serial. And ABTCP implements DF1 over TCP IP. And for each driver, you just define the station with the IP address or whatever the syntax for each one of the, the drivers. So very well, I can cancel. I imported the application, but now I need to define the startup screen. So when I run the application, which screen should be open first? If I go to factory talk here under startup, it will eventually show you, there you go, the name of the initial screen, which for this project is the low level tag read and write. In the Softweb Studio, I can configure the same, uh, the, the same screen under Project, Viewer, and I have the startup screen. I can set it to the low level read write screen. Very well, now I can start the application. And it's gonna open that screen by default. So now I can interact with the application. Change status here click on the help buttons to see different messages here, go to the next screen and see the values changing here, increment, change different values, go to the next screen and modify the sliders, change the size of the objects dynamically, change the bar graph here on the bottles. So pretty much all the functionality, the animations that are supported by the import wizard are automatically imported. You can change here the display, go to helicopter, change the picture to the airplane, change the position, move the object on the screen to change the size of that circle. So as you see whatever screens, animations and objects you had on the original screen are automatically imported including the navigation and again you save most of the time that would be required to convert this application to Windows Software Studio. And now that's converted, it's just like any other regular Windows Software Studio application. You can edit the screens and modify the settings, modify the, uh, the groups, the properties, the dynamics, change the, the tags, change the expressions. It's just like a regular Windows Software Studio application. Very well. With that, we'd like to finish the tutorial and I'd like to thank you for your time. Hopefully the information in this tutorial is useful for you and your projects and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Thank you everybody. Have a great day or a great evening.